Argo. The U.S. First Lady Michelle Obama made a surprise and unprecedented appearance when she presented the Best Picture Award to Ben Affleck for his thriller, Argo. He said he felt he was hallucinating when she made the announcement. Violet, Sam and Sarah, I love you. This, this... Which may be why he was slightly at a loss for words during his emotional acceptance speech. The Iran hostage drama marks a triumphant comeback for Affleck, who failed to get a nomination in the directing category. And the Oscar goes to Daniel Day-Lewis. And as widely expected, Daniel Day-Lewis made Hollywood history as he stepped up to collect his third Academy Award and received a standing ovation in the process. Having won virtually every award in the run-up to Sunday's Oscar ceremony, the 55-year-old British-born actor was favoured to win for his quiet, intense performance as one of America's most respected presidents as he battled to end slavery and the U.S. Civil War. Shall we stop this bleeding? Jennifer Lawrence. Jennifer Lawrence won her first Oscar for her lead role as an outspoken young widow in the quirky comedy Silver Linings Playbook. And despite taking a little tumble, there was no slip-up in her acceptance speech. You guys are just standing up because you feel bad that I fell, and that's really embarrassing, but thank you. Ang Lee won his second Oscar for Best Directing for Life of Pi. The film also picked up statuettes for cinematography, original score and visual effects. And the Oscar goes to... Amor, Austria, Mikhail Haneken. And in the Best Foreign Film category, the Austrian drama Amor scooped the award capping a year-long run of triumphs for his director, Michael Haneke. No, it's not okay. I guess he's passed. You don't want to put your image on your old days. You look very good. But what's my image? You're a monster sometimes.